Hi, this is Dale from Your Pink Friend. Today I was looking on Facebook and noticed a post by Gloria Mayfield Banks, who is the top national sales director with Mary Kay. And she had posted a picture, and she's got a pretty incredible lifestyle. And one of the pictures below it said, I'm glad I worked when I could. And I thought that was interesting because I have been tracking the time lately to see where I'm spending too much time on things that maybe could be put to better use. And um, I noticed that there are so many times when it feels like you're working but you're not. It's what I call pushing paper. And there are things maybe that need to be done but they don't need to be done by you. And I think that when we are presented with an opportunity and we're given the chance to create a business for ourselves, we're told to do certain things. And in a lot of cases, I find that even when you tell someone and you've had the experience that this will improve their business, they don't listen or they listen but they think it doesn't apply to them and they don't follow through. If someone else has done it, previously, then you should be able to do it too, as long as you model the behavior or the actions of the people who are successful. So what makes it so that people ignore what you say or ignore what is given to them as um, a standard procedure that might make their business more successful? And what I've come to realize in a lot of cases, it boils down to fear. Because when you're fearful, there's a couple of things that you might do. Number one, you might not do anything at all because you're so afraid you get catatonic and you just, you won't even attempt because you're afraid you're going to fail. You don't want to be embarrassed. And then there are other people who, when they are afraid that they might not be able to do something, they take on a task that is so huge, so gargantuan, that there's almost a 99% chance that they'll fail. And the reason that they will take that on and not be afraid to take it on in some cases is because if they do fail, everybody will say, well, that was such a big goal. Nobody expected you to do that anyway, so they don't lose face. So I think it's really good to pay attention in, when, we're, when we're working. What are our motivations behind the things that we do take on or don't take on? And is it fear that's controlling us? And if it is, what can we do to eliminate that fear? And um, that I will share with you in my next video. If you like any of my videos, please share them, please like them and, and uh, subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you soon.